Myra Technology Park is uh, an automotive centre of excellence. We're creating a very large cluster of automotive and, and wider transport sector companies here. We've got 1.75 million square foot of development in plan. Uh, we've already attracted over 30 uh, major brands, major OEMs and major European uh, tier ones to come and join us on the technology park. Uh, the company behind me is Haldex, uh, they're one of those companies and they took the decision two years ago to set up uh, their European R&D centre with us uh, and I'm sure for them and for many of the other companies that come here I think being part of the EU is very, very fundamentally important to them uh, as, they, as they commit to make their investments into the UK. So the UK automotive industry is doing exceptionally well. We've had several years now of, of, of significant growth um, as many of the manufacturers expand their production numbers. Uh, the supply chain that sits behind those manufacturers uh, is somewhat less complete and you know, there are tasks at hand to try and repopulate our supply chain with the right kind of companies. So a lot of work's being done by the government uh, with the Automotive Investment Organisation uh, to try and attract companies to come and invest and set up manufacturing operations here in the UK. Now we work very closely with them because obviously if you're setting up a manufacturing operation then an R&D a team, an engineering team, is a very essential part of that. And we're working with many companies now to help them set up those facilities. As we go forward, if we're going to see the continued growth of the automotive sector, I think it's very important that the UK has the ability to attract companies to invest and set up manufacturing and R&D operations here. So for the many companies here, I'm sure they will feel it's absolutely of paramount importance that, that really we are still part of the European Union going forward.